Oh, we're right in here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, but also another Bonacle playset review, since the last one I did was a 2005 one, but well, let's carry on to the following ones that there was. And today's of which is Paraka Outpost, also from 2006. So on the front of the booklet, see picture of everything in action in near the lava flow that's in the center of Voya Nui. And set number 8892, Bonk logo, Voya Nui symbol, the name, and Bonk.com, Lego logo. And on the back is Add for the Bonacle Heroes game and Bonacle website. And add for Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. And then list of all the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the, the realistic picture of the set in there, and the last steps. So now on to the mini selection. So first of which is a uh, uh, Toa and Ika Jawler. Yeah. Oh, which quite cool. See, these are which large step up from the 2005 ones since now have actual movable parts like uh, torso swivels and arm swivel and hands swivel and uh, head swivels, of course. But, and now his face printed, which, which looks almost a bit like the actual figure of him. But, well, most of the pieces are kind of reused from the Exo Force line. Like, usually the arm pieces and hand pieces. And also a little interesting thing with each of these uh, play sets is they all have, they contain a buttload of these oversized weapons of which they can hand to all these characters. Like, like here's another one. And another couple of ones. Not sure why they did that, but at least good to have for the characters, of course. And, and there is from the back, but a lot of hollow spaces and a little slot to stick the mini spine in, well, just for the parakas. And next of which is Kongu, also quite, this face print also quite the same, but also the same stuff, same everything. And although it does look quite close to the actual figure. Uh, okay. And next of which being uh, Redak, of course. Also, face or head pieces, which also the same. Well, these of which all had the same head pieces as other figures, and they of which fit onto three studs. And if can compare the size to a normal mini figure, as you see, just a about like a millimeter taller than them, and it does work almost the same as them. But actually, just for the Paraka, I do have these little things representing the spines, but although we're used on a lot of sets since then. And lastly is Thok. Also quite just about like the construction figure version, but minus his bright blue, of course. Also quite the same and everything again. And that is about it with all the figures, which they also carry on into the Marinini line, of course. And first for the builds is this little, uh, what they call the outpost, of course. Like, as you see, has one of these great big uh, rock based pieces, which probably from like the castle lines. But, Quite large and hollow, of course, but also a few spots to 
I won't plug these kinds of pieces into to get the plates in and like so. And on the side, have a couple of the big ugly rock or smallish ugly rock pieces, but in brown. There, and a few of the like uh, bar uh, pieces is acting as like uh, jail cell bars to them. And to the top part of which, which is which kind of swivels up and down, or I mean, I mean side to side, but with a couple of plates at which end, a couple of railing part of it, and also has a large plate to enough to fit one of your figures onto it. And for the main part of it, which is the spring loaded launcher with a few light staves around it and a couple of the like tail pieces in silver. Oops. But other than that, so mainly pull on this upper light stave and it shoots off. Let me see. Of course. You can see the green version of the missile uh, from the uh, Dino Attack line, obviously. And kind of simple and basic. Maybe. Next to which is the walk Toa Walker or whatever. As you see, all the legs of which are basically Toa Mata leg or arm pieces. Uh, just about like with Fenrak from this year, which also chimes on, and well, there's also one like this in the 2007 Marinimi line, but yeah. But also all have little light staves on them, and also have the like uh, horn pieces in dark red, uh, which nice for mocks and things. And the front part of which was a couple of long rods with the saw blade on than that can spin and chop like so. It has the most of it which is kind of thin and frail with this long uh, slope piece and a couple of red viscerac feet down there of course. And there's from the bottom all comprised on one long plate. But the front area which with a couple of bull rock uh, tooth pieces for whatever reason and also, mostly Axon's axe piece, or I mean, uh, mask actually. Sorry. And it has the Toanuva leg piece, but in dark red. Probably one of the only times they've ever reused that. And you see, it's like double joint. You can move this platform like up and down and all around, free range movement. And that's he does have a couple of Vaki tools on which because the little thing with most of these play sets is they oftentimes reused a lot of the like weapons from the actual construction sets of Bonacle of course. Probably to make it more recognizable as Bonacle. And also with this upper platform which has Couple more of the long spears from the 2005 playset line, and enough space to fit your figure onto it. But most of the times, have to do it sideways. So, it is a bit, but also get the like multi-shot Zammer launcher that, of course, fires off like so. But interesting with this one of which that it has a six Y six angle uh, rod part rather than a one part one. I'm not sure why. Probably to like reach better and all. And let's see. I guess that is about it. And so now, on to with the final verdict. Well, 
overall, this I think a pretty cool or kind of good playset to which like get four mini figs that are quite different from each other, like two from the Tola and two from the Paraka, and also a couple of nice builds of it, and probably one of the most cheapest ways to get the like a uh, rock base piece and how would you good for your mocks and all. And also plenty of nice pieces to include in it. And and also and of course like probably the cheapest one of the bunch. And well I think and if you still have this set from back in the day, well I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And expect some more for the other playsets for upcoming Throwback Thursdays. And yeah. And that was about it with this video, and thanks for watching.